subject English. Standard Fourth. Hello, students. I am Elizabeth C. B. And today we are going to learn one interesting topic in English. So, student, we are going to study the beautiful chapter. The chapter name is All About Glass. Glass is a very useful material because it can be used for a variety of things. Glass is useful for the formation of glass lens, containers and windows and wind screens. Glass containers are popular because it stores something without blocking light. Before starting with the topic, I would like to ask few questions. Name the companies where glass are made. In India, Gold Plus Glass Industry Limited was started in the year 1985. It is specialized in progressing, trading and manufacturing of glass. It manufactures huge range of glasses including float, etc. There are many more companies where glass is manufactured. Name everyday things made of glass. Can you say students? Yes, you are right. Answer. Light bulbs, bottles, jars, glasses, reading glass, marbles, window, etc. are the everyday things made of glass. Glass is one of the most beautiful substance that we see around us. Glass contain no chemicals. Glass can be safely washed at high temperatures. Glass jars are saving the earth. But recycled glass uses 40% less energy than manufacturing new glass. And up to 80% of all recycled glass can be reclaimed. Not all plastic can be recycled. Just take a look around yourself and see how many things you can find that are made of glass. Here I have some image. Just see around yourself. I will give you some example which is made up of glass. You have tableware, drinking glasses, plate, cups, bowls, housing and building windows, shelves, lightning, Electronics, oven doors, cook, top, TV, computer screens, smartphone. There are so many things made up of glass. The student, here I will show you some more uses of glass. What is this image? Yes, it's a light bulb. A light bulb produces light from electricity. They are used in houses, offices. Now most of people use LED bulbs. These are now rarely seen. What is this? Yes, glass bottles. You can put in this oil or you can put cold drinks, juices, water etc. So, students, this both things are made from glass. So, students, we will see some more example of uses of glass. What is this? Yes, it's a glass jar. Glass jar can be used for a number of kitchen items. 
pastry foods like pasta, spices, baking ingredients, and even many more items you can store in this. And it is easy to see that what you have stored in this container. What is this? Yes, it's a glass. You can drink water, juice from this glass. What is this? Yes, it's a reading glass. And what is the meaning of reading glass? Reading glasses are glass that are worn by people. For example, when they are reading because they cannot see things close to them very well. So, these three things are made from glass. You have lots of uses of glass. Let us check more. Student, what is this? Marbles. You know very well what is this. Yes, it's made of glass. And you like marbles to play a lot. What is this? Window, window panes. They are called as windows. And they are made up of glass. Where does this glass come from? Do you have any idea? Let's see. So students, in this chapter, we will learn how to make a glass. What are the things you need to make a glass? Let's see. How? Glass is made. The glass that is used to make so many everyday things is a man-made material. Let's see what is that man-made material to make a glass. So students, can you guess what is that man-made material? Can you guess what it is made from? It may seem unbelievable. But it is clear, transparent and smooth looking material is actually made from sand. Students, yes, the glass is made from sand. So let's check to the procedure how to make a glass from sand. Students, what you can see in my image? Yes, you can see white sand, soda, Lemon. Yes. Glass is made from these three items. Can you believe? Glass is made by heating a mixture of clean white sand and chemicals like soda and lime. Yes. Glass is so beautiful, right? They are made from these three man-made materials. See the, the procedure of how glass is made. The mixture is heated in a furnace. Furnace means a, a huge enclosed space for heating metal or glass to high temperatures till it turns into hot liquid glass. When it cools down, it becomes stiff. Stiff means firm. Difficult to bend or move and hard. So students, you learned how to make a glass. Now we will see that how glass is shaped. You know that glass is it's like a variety of shapes. Whatever shapes you want, you get it. So let's see how glass is shaped. Once glass has become cold, stiff. Stiff means firm, difficult to bend or move and hard. It is not possible to shape it. Glass is brittle. Brittle means hard but easily broken. That means it breaks easily. So students, whenever you hold a glass in your hands, be careful. If you're going to put it down, it, it is going to break into pieces. And someone will get hurt because of you. 
So, next time, whenever you hold a glass in your hands, you should be very careful. It has to be shaped into different articles when it's still hot and soft. Yes, when we're going to give the shape for the glass. When it is hot and soft, that time you have to give different shapes. Whatever you like. Once it is cooled down, you can't give shape for it. Very hot glass is more like a liquid. You can pour it. Pour means fall heavenly. Mould it. Mould means to shape a soft substance into, into a particular form. Roll it, press it or even blow it to make a variety of shapes. Students, see my image. The glass are so much variety of shapes. Hot liquid glass is Powd. Powd means fall heavenly into moulds. Mould means to shape a soft substance into a particular form and harden to make articles of various shapes and size. Students, hot means you know that you drink your tea very hot. So same way, when you are giving a shape to the glass, when it is hot, that time you have to give variety of shapes and size. When it is cooled down, you can't give any shape to it. It can also be rolled out to make flat sheets of glass in another progress. Molten glass. Molten means Heat it to a very high temperature so that it becomes liquid. It's floating on a bed of molten metal to make very flat glass sheets of even thickness. Students, know that the glass is so thin. See, they are doing so much hard work to make the shape of a glass. You can see the art. Putting the hot liquid into molten method, metal to give variety of shapes. Gops. Gops means a small amount of a thick, wet substance of hot liquid glass can be blown into bottles, bulbs, glasses and other objects. Students, you had seen my image, the, the different shapes of a glass and the uses of glass and how it is made. The same way, this hot liquid glass can be put into bottles, bulb, glasses and various other things to shape it. Liquid glass can be also been grown out. Liquid glass means it's transparent, non-tonic and can protect virtually any surface against almost any damage such as water, radiation, dirt, bacterial infection into very thin fibers. Fibers means a thread on which a vegetable tissue mineral substance or textile is formed or glass wool. So students, let us see the new concept, some properties of glass. Glasses have many useful properties. It is transparent. Transparent means allowing you to see through. You can see through it. It is strong and hard. 
when you're going to hold a glass in your hands you can see through it it is transparent you can put a lot of load on it it is impermeable impermeable means not allowing a liquid or gas to pass through it does not allow water or other liquids to pass through and it doesn't get soggy soggy means wet and soft in a way that is unpleasant or stained itself in means mark or discolor with something that is not easily removed students when you take when you're holding a colorful glass bottle you can't remove the color of the glass bottle why it is fixed it's because of the chemical that it stays students what it is yes it's a glass container where fruits are kept fruits can remain fresh for days if it is kept in a glass container glass has no fit on the food water or other substance stored in glass containers in other words it doesn't impact impact means to pass something to somebody or something or smell or taste to them yes to go to store foods in a glass container it stays fresh for days dirty smell or a, you know that when a food is kept for days the taste of the food change but if you're going to keep in a glass container the taste is going to remain the same ordinary glass has a smooth surface and it can be washed easily and last but not the least important is the fact that it looks beautiful you can see the glass containers can be washed easily and they are so beautiful if you're going to store everything in a glass container it is it looks very very beautiful the house is going to be like clean but you have to handle it carefully no wonder then that it is used to make so many things yes you can store so many things in a container you have variety of uses so students let us study the next concept that is colored glass yes this art the colored glass it's look it look beautiful right so let us study in detail about colored glass ordinary glass is colorless colorless means plain but it is possible to produce colored and transparent transparent means allowing you to see through glass by using different combination of chemicals in the glass making process see my image there are variety of colored glasses let us study in detail so students here i have the list of colored glass bottles so let's see the list of colored glass bottle blue violet ruby red turquoise turquoise means a bright blue green color pink amber amber means a yellow brown color like the one seen between the red and green on a traffic light orange deep yellow 
amethyst. Amethyst means a bluish purple color. Purple. A green. Black and white. Students, this all colors are beautiful, right? And the bottle also look very beautiful, right? Yes. Students, what you can see in my image? Yes, it's a stained glass. The term stained glass refers to colored glass as a material and to work created from it. Throughout his thousand year history, the term has been applied almost to windows of churches and other religious buildings. So students, let us study in detail what is the meaning of stained glass and where do you find it? Colored glass is to make beautiful pictures, especially in window panes. Window pane means windows. You can see my image, how color, colorful it has, how beautiful it has been colored. Such windows are known as stained glass. I already told you what is the meaning of stained glass. They are seen mostly in churches. There are lots of churches in Mumbai. You will see this stained glass in the churches. Colored glass can also be used to make beautiful structures. Structures means works of art made from stone, wood, metal or glass or decorative articles. It is also possible to paint on glass using special chemicals and processes. A simple glass, a transparent glass can be decorative. You can do your own decoration in it. See my image. How the glasses are beautifully decorated. It is possible to paint on glass using special chemicals and processes. Yes, you can paint your own simple plain glass by using a paint or any other chemical materials. And... You can see how decorative it can be. Students, let us study the next concept that is glass can be recycled. Recycle means to treat things that have already been used so that they can be used again. 45% glass waste gets recycled in India every year. Students, let us study in detail. Recycling glass in this manner is much cheaper than making new glass from raw materials. Raw materials means are used in the construction industry for both private and public works such as housing, site preparation, cement manufacturing, railway and road construction. These materials include sand, limestone, etc. So, the next time you throw away the glass, think before. It can be recycled. Students, what you can see? Yes, it's the pieces of glass. What you can do of it? Yes, you can recycle it. So, the next time you throw away the glass, think before. It requires much less heat and a lot of energy saved. If you recycle even a single glass bottle, you save enough energy to power a colored TV for about 20 minutes. Yes, to make a new glass, you need a lot of manpower and lot of energy. But 
If you are going to recycle the glass, the energy is saved. The manpower is saved. So, the next time you throw away a glass bottle, think. Glass is valuable. Valuable means worth a great deal of money. So, students, glass is valuable. Do not throw the glass bottles. So, students, in this chapter, there are lots of give meanings. When you are going to read the textbook, you will find lots of sentences which you didn't understand. So, let's see the give meanings of the lesson. Give meanings. Turquoise, a bright blue green color. Ruby red. A dark red color similar to that of a ruby. Amber. A yellow brown color like the one seen between the red and green on a traffic light. Students, in my slide, I had already shown you what is the meaning of this all colors. A bluish purple color. Sculptor. Work of art made from stone, wood, metal or glass. Recycle. Read things that have already been used so that they can be used again. Transparent. Allowing you to see through. Furnace. A huge enclosed space for eating metal or glass to high temperatures. Firm. Difficult to bend or move. Hard but easily broken. Mould. Heat it to a very high temperature so that it becomes liquid. Gob. A small amount of a thick, wet substance. Fiber. Long and thin threads. Impermeable. Not allowing a liquid or glass to pass through. Soggy, wet and soft in a way that is unpleasant. Impart, to pass something to somebody or something. Combination, two or more things we use or mix together. The opposites of man made, natural, liquid, solid, impermeable, permeable, different, same, deep, costly, valuable, worthless, believable, unbelievable. Answer the following. How glass is made? Answer. Glass is made by heating a mixture of clean white sand and chemicals like soda and lime. The mixture is heated in a furnace till it turns into hot liquid glass. When it cools down, it becomes stiff and hard. How glass is shaped? Answer. Glass is shaped into different articles. When it is stiff, hot and soft, it can be poured into mouths, rolled out 
floated on a bed of molten metal blown blown into shapes or even drawn out into fibers students here is the homework you have to do in rug book look around you and name the things made of glass so in my slide i told you many example which is made of glass so you have to make a list and you have to write in the rug book so students i hope you understood the chapter thank you